Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Francesca Braccio. As you already know, everyone calls me Fran. It's way easier and way more fun. I'm a badass mindset coach and a business strategist for transformational leaders. So I help women feel the fear, but still do it anyways. Get past those barriers that are holding you back so that you can live the life that you've always wanted. So welcome to our five-day video series on how to motivate your life. So today is day two. You've already learned from our last time we did goal setting. So today we're going to talk about feeding your mind because motivation, no one's really born with it. It's something you have to create. And one thing that I've started doing over the last couple of years that has changed my mindset completely is personal development. So that is reading books, uh, listening to podcasts, what else? You can listen to audiobooks, anything to feed your mind with absolute pos positive things to combat all the negative shit that's going on in your life. Now, with personal development, it has to be personal to you. So whatever you're struggling with in your life right now, there's a book for that. <laughs> there's a podcast for that. If you're someone who says, I don't like reading, I, I get too bored, I fall asleep, that was me, that was me. I always would say, I'd get too bored, I'm too lazy, if I read, I'm gonna fall asleep, or I just would never finish books, I just never finished anything in my life, like, I was a really bad procrastinator, and I just never finished it. Books were one of them. I didn't like reading because it felt too much like studying and homework and book reports, and I didn't want to do that on my spare time, like, that wasn't fun to me. Until I started finding things that I actually enjoyed reading, which is personal development. So when I became a health coach, this is kind of one of our like written rules, you know, is personal development. Because if you are going to be an entrepreneur, you need to flood yourself with positivity because there's a lot of objections. There's a lot of people who say no to you and you go through hard times, right? Like you're an entrepreneur, you are doing stuff on your own. Financially, things could get messed up. If you're in a negative mindset, you're going down. So personal development is huge. But it's not just for coaches. It's not, not just for entrepreneurs. I believe that everyone should be doing personal development because everything that I have learned and I speak the way I speak to you with this conviction and this power and this confidence, I got from reading these books and these books telling me that I am a badass. I am powerful. I am strong. I, I deserve to live a life by my design. I deserve to live my daydream. Who are these people that tell you otherwise, you know? So there's a book out there for anything you're struggling with, anything. And even if you're not a health coach and you're watching this and you're just working on a health journey, there's nutrition books, things that you can learn, not diet books, but books that you can learn more about the food that you're eating and the way your body reacts to these foods. So the more you know, like, it's true. Knowledge is power, guys. It's not just something that they say. So personal development is huge. And if you're someone who says that you can't read, you know, you don't like reading podcasts or audiobooks. So you can buy audiobooks where you listen to them to the entire book. Or man, you can go on YouTube but you can look up free audiobooks. That's what I've done. There's a few good books on there. So one book that I would highly recommend to anyone, to anyone, because it like I loved it. I just I loved everything about it. It's called You Are a Badass. And of course I loved it. I am now a bad, badass mindset coach. It fired me up. And as a health coach or a coach in general, I felt like she was speaking right to me. But she also talks about being a badass in your, just in your life in general and reaching your health and fitness goals. And there's something about when you read a book or you listen to a podcast. It's just like, so when you're going to school, like school is not my jam. Studying, not my jam. But when you're going to school and you're studying, you're reading and memorizing this content in a book and it's sinking in and sitting with you and giving you the tools to do your future job. So why should reading a personal development book be seen as anything other than that? Because that's my schooling now. I don't, I'm never going back to school. <laughs> never, like never. And this is my schooling now is reading these personal development books and learning how to live a better life. I never had any business training when I started out as an entrepreneur. Hell no. I never, yeah, I had a fitness background, but like I never had any 
schooling, like I, I took like my, you know, my certification to be an instructor, but I never went to actual school for any of this stuff. Everything I do in my life now, I have learned. So you need to learn how to be resourceful and figure shit out because not everything will everything, not everything that you need for your life can be taught in school. And that's why I like these books because everything that's everything that you want to do, someone else has done before you and they're giving you the secrets. They're giving you the steps in those books. So why not just take it, look at it, open it up and read it. Like some of the most successful people in the world read more than the, like five times more than the average person. So if you look at the top 10 thing of thing that things that the most successful people in the world are doing, why would you not want to mimic that? Like if the top 10 CEOs, like richest people, you know, most successful business people are reading personal development books and working out and, and doing other things to take care of themselves. And why would, you know, if they're so motivated, all I'm sure, like I said, not every day everyone's motivated, but if they are so successful, something got them this way. So why not try and follow the steps that they're giving you? They are writing these books to help you. I used to think self-help books were for crazy people, but they're, they're not. Like, I'm sure there are some, you know? But, <laughs> but honestly, use these tools to change your life because they can do just that for you. So I've written out a list in your workbook of some of my favorite personal development books and a section for you to just write down like what you're struggling with, where you know, you're know you having your hardest times, and let's connect, let's chat about it and see if we can find a book or a way or something to help you motivate your life, get some personal development in you, and feed your mind. Alrighty, so it was great chatting with you guys today. I will see you next time for video three. Have a good one.